Hello again, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you push the subscribe button and the little bell button so that you will be notified whenever I have a next video coming up. But today I have a surprise. My daughter made a beautiful dream journal for our subscribers. She knew that I was going to be doing a dream journal video in a couple of weeks, so she designed a dream journal that's available on Amazon for $9.95. But anyway, so I'm going to be using this dream journal for the next week or two to prepare myself for the dream journal video. But that led me to realizing and thinking about how our homes are also a part of that dream. We surround ourselves in our homes with things that really mean something for us. Now, when I downsized, that was very difficult because I had a big house, went to a small place. So I could only keep a few things that really meant a lot to me. So I have tried in this space to create an electric space around me, but that contained things that I love and that mean something to me. And it was quite a challenge. It was because I have very, very little space here. You know our homes and our dreams. Our homes are on the conscious level, what we do, how we design them, what type of furniture we like, what we want to have around us that's pleasing and comfortable. And our dreams are on a subconscious level. We really have no control over our dreams. What happens down deep in our subconscious is perhaps trying to, your brain is trying to work out your fears, problems, things that you've been thinking about during the day or in the past weeks. So the way we create our homes is on a conscious level. The way we dream is on a subconscious level. And we actually really have no control over it. But they both are very important to our lives. Our dreams and our homes. So today I am doing something really different. I hope it works out. I am combining the two. I'm combining a tour of my downsized space, my home, along with dreaming. So let's go ahead, start touring and dreaming on the conscious and subconscious level today. I dream a dream within a dream. Did I ever dream when I was young that I would ever grow old? Young forever, forever strong, forever happy, forever bold forever seem so far away. Did I ever dream when I was young that life would be anything but what I wanted to see, what I wanted it to be? I dream a dream within a dream. It all seemed, it all seemed so far away. Sunrise, sunsets, it all came so fast. Sunrise, sunsets, it all came so fast. In my dreams, I now get in touch with that sundown woman as she tiptoes across the sand. She's got a million kinds of stardust 
Pick your favorite brand. I dream a dream within a dream. It all seemed, it all seemed so far away. Dream when you're feeling blue. Dream, that's the thing to do. Just watch your thoughts rise in the air. You'll find your share of memories there. So dream when the day is through. Dream and they might come true. Things are never as bad as they seem. So no matter where you are, how you are, dream, 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 dream. and they might just come true. Did I ever dream when I was young that I would ever grow old? Young forever, forever strong, forever happy. Forever seems so far away. Did I ever dream when I was young that life would be anything but what I wanted to see, what I wanted it to be? I dream a dream within a dream. It all seemed, it all seemed so far away. Sunrise, sunsets, it all came so fast. In my dreams, I now get in touch with that sundown woman as she tiptoes across the sand. She's got a million kinds of stardust. Pick your favorite brand. Oh, I dream a dream within a dream. It all seemed, it all seemed so far away. This was a little bit unusual, but I hope you enjoyed it today. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. Be kind to someone else who crosses your path. And don't forget to share the love. And also, dare to dream. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.